Somebody said that I said this, and I don't ever remember saying it, but I think it's like the most amazing thing ever, so I'm going to co-opt it as my own. And hopefully, you, I mean, I must have, because she tweeted it. So I said, I talk about give yourself the green light. And I was like, oh my god, that's the, like a, a fantastic saying. Give yourself the green light. And I think I want to talk about it just in relation to something else. A different uh, a student of mine said on Tuesday night that I thought was really interesting. She said that it's important for her to start in the audition process out there in the world in front of people is to start being selfish. And I thought, oh, that's a really amazing way to kind of maybe start seeing yourself vis-a-vis -vis this thing called auditioning. Now, the word selfish obviously has egoic connotations. And I don't really, when I'm, I don't think she meant it that way. And when I'm talking about it here tonight, I'm not meaning, you know, when we think of selfishness, we think of egoness. I want you to think of it in terms of an ownership of yourself. And if it's an ownership of yourself, then it's the higher self, the capital S E L F. Which is, you know what, what all artists are anyway. You all are operating from the higher self when you get yourself out of your own way and you allow yourself to play, to express and be expressed, to create, to become a channel for, but you don't, under, you don't, you don't orient yourself toward that understanding when you're in an audition room because oftentimes you see people from a perceived place of power because they have a title on their name, or they are with so-and-so, or they are with this company. And I think part of what we have to start doing, all actors, is you have to start creating a dynamic where you're playing on a level playing field. And you guys, I think the thing is, is actually the perception of power, that's actually all ego stuff. Because take away the titles, and, and those things are illusory anyway. We are all the same beings on this planet. It doesn't matter if somebody has a million dollars or not. When it all comes out in the wash, we're all the same. Actually, I talked about, I lectured about connection last week that kind of talked about that. So I'm not going to repeat myself. But I think we don't really go in realizing, you know what? The casting director wants to be able to send his best or her best options to the directors or the producers. And you they can only do that when you allow yourself to be the best person for the job that you are. So I think it's really important to start going in and thinking of it in terms of how can I own my little slice of getting to act this week, because that's really it. That's it. For some actors, if you don't have an agent or a manager, you don't get out a lot. Even if you do have an agent or manager, you may not get out a lot. And so I think if you start thinking, this is your one opportunity to actually showcase your talents, to actually perform the job as the best of your ability. But you know, I think we think in terms of we don't think in those terms because we're so concerned about right or wrong. And we have to try to untether those knots of right and wrongness. You know what, if a, if a kid, if a child spills milk all over the place, unless you're mommy dearest, it's really not that big of a deal. But when you go into audition rooms, you are so <laughs> preoccupied with, quote unquote, the mistakes. You guys, there are no mistakes in humanity. It's called being human. It's just called being human. But you don't give yourself the permission to be human because you're so concerned with right or wrong. Is this right? Does this look like this? Is this too much? What will they think of this? Who cares? I was with my brother and his girlfriend this weekend talking about right and wrong. And I thought this was the most amazing, amazing example of, uh, we are that. What happened? What happened? They have a four-year-old daughter. Well, let's... Well, whatever. They have a four-year-old daughter. It's too complicated to explain their relationship, so I'll just say they have a four-year-old daughter. And I went to leave, and I couldn't find my cell phone. So my brother's like, I'll call it. I think I saw it on the kitchen table. And I said, I did too, but I think Liv, the daughter, the four-year-old, did something with it. So I called it, and all I heard was a muffled, wah, 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 like my weird phone ring. And I still couldn't find it. Where did I find it? She put it in the freezer. I thought that was such a pure act of rebellion and creation and expression 
So I got it out of the freezer. What's the big deal? It was just a little bit colder, as if I went skiing on Snow Summit or something. It's not that big of a deal. And of course, her mom did ask her, Liv, did you put that phone in the freezer? And she said, uh-huh. You know what I mean? <laughs> Completely not editing the joy of that expression. And of course, I think Liv, I mean, I think her mom did express, well, maybe you don't want to hide people's phones. But she didn't make it a big deal. And I thought, oh, that's so amazing. People, kids are not concerned with right or wrong, they're concerned with expressing. You gotta get the mistakes out of it. You gotta get these mistakes out of it. They come from left brain. Those seeds that have been planted when we were young that we start to orient toward right and wrong. You've got to start to untether them and give yourself the permission in audition rooms to let that actually be a playing ground where you're gonna fail. That's the only way you're going to develop that muscle. If you continue to go in from that presupposition that you have to do it the right way, you're never going to get to doing it your way. You just never will. So to me, the best example of doing it is crashing and burning, which you all are doing at one level. <laughs> you, for sure you are. You have to. No actor has it all figured out ever. So, yeah, that's all I really want to say. I just said, I wrote here, casting directors, agents, producers, are only as good as you allow yourself to be. I don't think you think about, about it in those terms. They are only as good as you allow yourself to show up. If you let yourself show up in all of its amazingness, then they have you and 10 other options to give to their producers that they can then say, look at all these really great people you have to choose from. Now it's up to you.